Pulse oximeters provide the most commonly non-invasive measurements in the hospital setting, oxygen saturation, or SpO2, and pulse rate. Fingertip pulse oximeters have become more and more popular in and out of the hospital, but the typical user can have a difficult time evaluating their performance. This is because they are often tested with normal SpO2 and pulse rate values that are not changing. On a motionless subject with normal blood flow or perfusion to the finger, and without being able to compare the fingertip oximeter values to actual values from a reference device. In fact, most pulse oximeters do not provide accurate measurements in subjects who are moving or shivering, and in subjects who have low perfusion or low blood flow to the finger. This is especially true in subjects with low SpO2 values. As a result, many pulse oximeters display falsely high or falsely low SpO2 or pulse rate measurements and the typical user is often unaware. A revolutionary approach to signal processing was invented by Massimo called Signal Extraction Technology or SET, which enables accurate SpO2 and pulse rate measurements even during low perfusion to the finger and when the patient is moving or shivering. Massimo SET has been shown in over 100 independent and objective studies to be more accurate than other pulse oximeters during low perfusion and motion conditions. Massimo SET is the leading hospital-grade pulse oximetry technology in the world and is used by leading hospitals and clinics on over 100 million patients per year. Scientific testing will be performed comparing the accuracy of three pulse oximeters to a reference device. A Massimo set pulse oximeter called the Radical 7, a new fingertip oximeter from Massimo called MightySat, which also contains set technology, and a competitive fingertip pulse oximeter. To ensure each oximeter is tested under the exact same conditions, we will use a simulator. The Fluke Pulse Ox Simulator is trusted by manufacturers, hospital biomedical engineers, and researchers to precisely evaluate performance of pulse oximeter devices and sensors under different SpO2 and pulse rate values, as well as different conditions such as shivering and motion. The Fluke Pulse Ox Simulator has an artificial finger that provides the signal received by the pulse oximeter under various scenarios. The pulse oximeter processes this signal just like it would a signal from an actual subject and calculates SpO2 and pulse rate values. For maximum visibility, the measurements from both fingertip pulse oximeters will be wirelessly transmitted to an application running on a mobile device through Bluetooth. All three pulse oximeters will be compared with the Fluke Pulse Ox Simulator under four scenarios. In test scenario one, we will simulate normal measurements and no motion. In test scenario two, we will add motion or shivering conditions. In test scenario three, we will change SpO2 to 70%. In test scenario four, we also maintain an SpO2 of 70% and add motion. In test scenario one, you can see that as we sequentially apply each device to the simulator, the Radical 7, MightySat, and competitive device all provide accurate measurements, as expected, compared to the Fluke Pulse Ox simulator. In test scenario two, with normal SpO2 and pulse rate, but with motion due to shivering, the Massimo Radical 7 and the Massimo MightySat device provide accurate SpO2 and pulse rate measurements compared to the Fluke Pulse Ox simulator, while the competitive device will not provide measurements. In test scenario three, with abnormally low SpO2 and abnormally high pulse rate, but without motion, all of the pulse oximeters are able to provide readings. In test scenario four, with abnormally low SpO2 and abnormally high pulse rate, along with motion due to shivering, the Massimo Radical 7 and the Massimo Mighty Sat device continue to provide accurate SpO2 and pulse rate measurements compared to the Fluke Pulse Ox simulator, while the competitive device will not provide measurements. In conclusion, 
The Massimo Radical 7 and Massimo Mighty Sat provided accurate measurements under each test scenario, while the competitive device only provided accurate measurements in scenario 1 and 3 when there was no motion. When selecting a fingertip oximeter, please consider performance when you need it most, during abnormal values and challenging conditions.